apparently the inhabitants of Treasure Town have been missing us because whenever we talk to them, they're spazzing out like, Oh, we've been so sad since you were gone and we're all happy we're back, but we still have to charge all the money we normally charge so we can buy our stuff. Okay, hello everyone, I'm Leader Luxne. Yes, that was necessary. Yes, Pokemon Jeff, still co-commentating, still co-commentating over, still co-commentating over speakerphone, so yeah. In the last episode, we learned that we're going to have to go to Brian Cave. In this episode, we're going to go to Brian Cave, but after we made our preparations, which was buying, which was doing just one thing, buying one Reviver Seed that Kecleon had in shop, Shinx said just before we went back to the guild that we should check Sharpedo Bluff and see if Grovile left anything for us. So, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'll call you right back, okay? Okay. Alright, so just don't worry if you hear Do You Like Waffles. He's just gonna be calling again because he's gonna call from his house phone because his cell phone's dying. Grovile isn't here. Hey, over there. There's a sheet of paper. There's something written on it in footprint rooms. A letter from Grovile. Let's do a message for us. I'll read it. Jinx began reading the letter. Time to hear music! To Infernape and Shinx, how are you doing? How goes your search for the Hidden Land? Things are going well on my end. I've already collected three Time Gears. I to find only two more. Plan to join you when I've collected all five. Plans have proceeded smoothly. Azelf and his friends have understood the situation and they have fully cooperated. Azelf told me the members of the guild let them know I was coming. Thank you. It's heartening to know that more and more Pokemon are coming to trust us. However, I will continue to stay away from Treasure Town and the guild. First, I'm not certain if Pokemon in this world trust me entirely or not. Something more troubling than that. Dust Noir is liable to return to the from the future at any time. Adventure time reference. Word! Yep, Dialga's gonna send Dust Noir back again. Since Dust Noir will be coming, we should keep a low profile. This is another reason I should stay away from Treasure Town and the Guild. I may indeed instead come back to Sharpedo Bluff or the beach. If we should meet, we can exchange information. Good luck on your end. Together we shall stop the planet's paralysis from Grovile. So like Grovile's hard at work. Better not fail on our end. Let's do this thing. And now, this is, this little part of the game is almost as annoying as a Zelda side quest. It's basically going around to random places in the hub world, trying to find Grovile. Screw Spindle's Cafe, screw saving too. Chapter 18, Lapras. Yep, chapter 17 is a really short chapter. Those of you who know, Lapras is a Pokemon. Those of you who played games for us. Hoping to see Grovile here. No, nope, he's not here after all. Oh no, not a big cut. Oh, Krabby aren't here. They always come out in the evening to blow bubbles. Yeah, it warps to the evening no matter what. Love seeing the bubbles go floating away in the evening sky. Well, that's too bad. It's let down, but... It's a let da You let down the bu uh, I'm not going to say anything about that. Looking for it. The sunset's beautiful, like it always is. Like it normally is. Relic fragment. Three relic. No! God! <laughs> this is this is the only thing I hate about this game: overabundance of cutscenes that tend to make LPers get constipated sounding. Do, 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 do. End of the day music, because yet again, it's the end of the day. Team Luxonape's first adventure. And it will be far from last. That it's kind of strange. The strings are searching for the hidden land. The relic fragment was the start of our original adventure because Coughing and Zubat stole it. And it's the start of our true adventure, stopping the planet's paralysis. The relic fragment, this is the thing that started Luxinate. Started it the first time that I deleted, started at my practice file, and it started it this time. Relic Fragment is one of my favorite things in this game. Even though Shinx is probably my least favorite. So yeah, that's a Pokemon. It's Lapras going across the sun. That must hurt, because it's an ice type. Even though it is also a water type. What could it be? It looks like it's swimming across the sun, so I think it's a Pokemon. Well, that's a little strange. Whatever, let's just... The sun's almost gone. We should go back to the guild soon. Alright, so we're about to set off for Brian Cave now, and he, and of course it's Team Skull hiding there. 
crappy right now for the reason they ran off scared of us. Chaha! It wasn't getting into us. <laughs> yeah, Zubat, you really shouldn't have given it back. Zubat is a derp. So is Torkoal. We're all derps in this world. I'm messing around with flash drive. This is going to probably be an infield. Nope, it's going to be eating. And Wigglytuff isn't here because he said he has business and he's going <laughs> No, apparently Wigglytuff didn't have to take a bathroom break. He had actual business with stuff to take care of. Okay. Brian Cave. Water dungeon. Nine floors. Sleeping cutscene. This chin. Yep, there's Lapras again. This time you can see him on the bottom screen. And I'm really hoping I can stop recording now because I'm running low on time. Because I've got like... And Lapras is meeting with Wigglytuff. That's new. Because I'm really running low on time with the tape. I've only got... Oh, okay. I've still got 34 minutes left, but I want to get this done quickly. Long t Lapras, no, long time no see. It's been too long, Wigglytuff. You look well. Chat out doing well, too? Yes, very well. Glad to hear that. I've always meant to thank you. I deeply appreciate the promise you made. And upheld for all this time. No problem, no big deal. But today, I'm here to see you about that promise find ourselves in a situation where we can't afford to uphold that promise. I suspect you know why. So please tell me about that strange pattern we once saw. Wigglytuff did something suspicious. Did I reference Spongebob? In a That's how weird I am. I referenced Spongebob in a Pokemon video. So, final save before setting out for Brian Cave. So you're all well well, good master, not get, get, I can't pronunciate this. I said that on purpose. And to set off Brian Cave as scheduled. I wouldn't know. Okay. Yep, we're still Guild of Epic People. And of course we have Chad out salute. <laughs> Chad out got dissed again. I'm not gonna call it don't worry, I'm not gonna call this part Chad out gets dissed again. Yes, you are inadequate and worthless to us. And I'm not looking forward to Brian K because it's going to be an even longer graphic than Tree Shroud Forest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine enemies. <sighs> and two of them only appear on two floors. Let's do our best to do our duty to God and our country. That Why was I saying the Boy Scout oath? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, Boy Scouts, so I guess I'd eventually start referencing the Boy Scouts at some point in time. I really wish there was a gaming merit badge. I would have gotten that, like... Oh, we're making... Sound the Call to Duty. No, we're not playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare Pokemon version. That would be funny, though. Part on the Guild Exploration of Brian Cave. Let's excel together. And we're going to automatically go to Brian Cave, aren't we? <laughs> Brian Cave is all really, really close to Treasure Town. Now listen, everyone. This is the entrance to Brian Cave. Your objective is to reach the deepest part of the dungeon. This is one where one will find the chance for the Relic Fragments. Two vicious Pokemon. We just get scared, as usual. And the vicious Pokemon seems to know just as much about this dungeon. That's what we've been here before. Chat has come here before. Time with the Guildmaster. Saw the peculiar pattern. It was then, however, those tough Pokemon appeared. Yeah, they're tough. Don't remember at all. Yep. Chat out doesn't remember what the Pokemon were like, so... Yeah, this is gonna be Boss Dungeon. It's a two-part dungeon. Boss Dungeon. There's one extremely vicious Pokemon, but it wasn't all alone. Not once, I feel getting slammed with water like a tidal wave. So, water types, I'm a fire type, but Chinx is an electric type, so... Yeah, chat's gonna be my thoughts of derpy, 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 derp. Yep, that Kangaskhan rock will only appear when you die. Hey, Chief, it's like, there's lots from the Gilder. <laughs> Zubat said loud. It's like an old version of a curse word.
Yep, they got a plan. They're gonna try to kill us or something. Brian Cave. Hugh the Dun- That's an interestingly large room. Hugh the Dungeon Gra- Graphic. And I almost said Hugh the Dungeon Graffiti. Alright, let's waste no time. And... And you're gonna notice something. There's a couple enemies from... Notice how close Brian Cave is to Beach Cave on the world map. Because they're so close, you'll see some of Beach Cave's enemies in Brian Cave, which is kinda cool. Hey, Pelipper, mailman from the original game, what's up? What's up, Birdie? Oh, that was... A, that was the worst pun I've made, ever. Not just in a video. No monster houses, so I'm excited about that. This... Oh, I like that part in me. It's good. Like, do 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 And Shinx fell asleep, so chat on it. Okay, Shinx woke up. So yeah, Water Dungeon. I'm not looking forward to having to fight water enemies. Luckily, a couple of them are rock type, and not all of them are pure water. A lot of them you can prey on alternate typing, and I do have an idiot on my team. Actually, I have two idiots on my team right now. <laughs> I had to. I learned the IQ skill Power Pitcher. My throwing items have now been powered up. Which is good, because I'm going to try to hurt these guys from afar and Chatout's pretty powerful. Guess I should go over Chatout stats. Chatout will only be with you for Upper Brian Cave. Level 36, 59 attack, 60 special attack, 117 HP, 48 defense, 48 special defense, cannot level up, can not be given items by you. And that's Power Pitcher at work. Look, I did 60 damage of throwing at him. So, Lower Brine Cave is... A, I hate these weird water mazes. And there's actually a lot of near Zelda references in this game. There's water mazes that are sort of reminiscent of Zelda water temples. There's that one puzzle that's Zelda style. There's... Basically, there's a lot of Zelda references in this game. So, ground. What is sound of it? Uh, slows belly depletion. I'm gonna get an IQ skill for that later on, so I don't really need that. And thank God Brian Cave is going quickly. And now, I'm just gonna say something. The reason... Pokemon Jeff kept calling me Brian a couple times was because I've been nicknamed after... A fictitious character, an old friend of mine created named Brian Leone. Don't ask why, but great. Oh no! Mini Monster House. Rain. There goes my firepower. Ow! Double ow! And I'm gonna die. Yep. Finally, back to where we were because Shinx wasted the Reviver Seed by trying to beat a Tentacle when it had lowered accuracy. So yeah, the end of Brian Cave after like... 10 more minutes than it should have been. We've gone pretty far down. Hey Chatadar, we're needing a place where we saw the pattern. We're nearly there. 
Don't have far to go, however, as I've told you before, every step also takes us closer to those vicious Pokémon. Yes, we'll have to stay careful and keep our eyes open. Anyway, we don't have far to go now. Let's keep it up, Infernape. Team Skull. And Shinx ouched us. Shinx, Team Skull ouched us. Nice team at is this it? Relic Fragment? That's... Yeah, it's a Relic Fragment. Why is it that the screen gets all barry whenever we find Team Skull? And they're stealing it. <laughs> Second time. And now we're telling Chadot. And now they're telling Chadot that they're really evil. Oh, Shinx doesn't get to do his adorable angry face. I love it when Shinx does his adorable angry face. Eat your heart out, it hurts. <laughs> wow. Chadot's gonna get angry. And runs away. So... Alright. Next time, we're going to take on Lower Brine Cave, hopefully get the Relic Fragment back and unlock the Hidden Land. And, I guess, beat the boss that I spoiled telling you that there would be there. So, until we do said stuff, I'm Leader of Luxinate, signing off. God, this music is awesome. It's true. What Jinx is saying is true. Maybe no one will believe us if we tell them the truth, but we should tell them anyway. Why? They might not believe us, right? We should tell them anyway. One option text box. Really, Nintendo.